Now, the forest commissioning is set for Saturday. We wanted to give you a glimpse of what goes into creating such a state-of-the-art carrier. There are thousands of manpower hours and skilled workers who dedicate a life to their craft. Reporter Stephen Graves tells us some of their stories. It's pretty crazy, you know, being as young as I am and seeing all this stuff come to life. For Nick Sarconi, the Gerald R. Ford is more than a ship. In his short career so far, it's all he knows. Pretty much packed up my life when I was 19 years old and moved down here. Now at just 24 years old. The alumni sticker kind of shows, hey, this guy made it through. He says it's hard to believe his accomplishments have brought him to a point of service that will impact history. He says, I wake up and think I'm going to build freedom. His skills are now a part of building this state-of-the-art aircraft carrier. Sarconi works putting catapults in place to launch jets on the flight deck. You just, you know you're coming here every day to, to help protect this nation. Really helps uh, get, you, get you through the day. Oh, it's a humongous responsibility. But it's a challenge that I was, uh, I, I welcome. And it's a challenge that's nothing new for David Batdorf. The Ford is his ninth carrier he's working on. These new ships, 78, 79, They'll surpass me now in my lifetime. Now as a supervisor, director of construction, he's seen it all working his way up the ranks. At one point, there can be more than 3,000 shipyard workers putting in blood, sweat, and tears. So he says this position is one he takes to heart. It's a, it's a legacy, really, to produce something that is so long-lasting and so strong and powerful. Uh, it's been a kind of a full circle of responsibility and growth in, in my career to be able to lead this excellent team. It's a team that rounds out with Ebonique Dixon. It has come a very, very long way. She sort of encompasses it all. As a Hampton Roads local and third generation shipyard worker, this work comes naturally. Just everything that needs paint on it, we do it. She says it still hasn't processed that her duty, something as simple as a paint job, is an integral part of leaving her mark on American history. This is an everyday job to me, so you still really don't think about it that way, but I mean, it actually is a first of its class. So come the commissioning of the Ford, it means more than a ceremony. It's a symbol of patriotism in their way. Yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to, you know, go out and watch the first jet take off the, the flight deck. Uh, it's not, oh, finally that ship's gone. It's never like that. The ship never goes away. It's always a part of your life. In Norfolk, Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.